necessary. Thank you very much. That's, oh, that's it. No, no, no. No, stop it. That's, it's crazy. Please have a seat. Thank you very much. You, that's enough applause. Uh, if you ever see me again, that's good for three more times that you see me. It's like a coupon I should give out. You won't have to applaud for three more times when you see me. Uh, and I'll punch a little hole in it or something like that. Um, that's really, that's very, very sweet of you. Uh, thanks a whole lot. And, um, and you all look nice. I came out a few minutes ago, I was talking to the people, and I always kind of scan, good, good, nice, hip crowd. Um, because I'm, I'm realizing there's so many things you go back and forth with what's in and what's out. And I just realized the other day um, that what's back in again, I don't know if you know this, but you know the cell phones, what's cool now again is the old fashioned ring, you know? Because they don't even sound like the old fashioned, it's like a techno kind of bring. It sounds weird, but it's the old fashioned ring that people are getting on the cell phones now. Because that, that's what it used to be. And then it was uncool to have a ring, and then it went into the songs. That was the cool thing, to have a ring that was like Mozart or Beethoven or Nelly, it's hot in her. And uh, <laughs> you always could tell somebody's personality by the song they had. But, uh, you know, and then some people just suck with it. <laughs> um, but, but anyway, that was the cool thing. And now it's come full circle to what's cool is the continental uh, ring. The Continental Breakfast is not in, by the way. Uh, that's five minutes ago. The Continental Breakfast is out. But everything comes full circle. I realize that because, you know, the phones, remember how the phones started out gigantic and then they got smaller and smaller and smaller until they're ridiculous now. Now the phones are, are really dangerous. They're so small, if someone gives you bad news and you go, oh, you inhale it. You, like, right down your throat. Um, <laughs> But people lose their phones now because they're so tiny. That's how, that's not good. Uh, you never used to lose a big phone, remember? If you did, your car was stolen. That's how big, <laughs> it was a huge phone that was in your car. Um, and, but that's what happens with trends. I realize that, you know, some people pay attention to them and you get stuck with that. And then some people just, this is whatever. That's the way they go. The way they dress is the way that they, they will always dress, and, and it's, it's kind of safe, because I tell you what, if you stick with your culottes and your blue eyeshadow, it'll come back. <laughs> Don't you worry about a thing. Eventually, that will look really good again. Then you'll see who's laughing. <laughs> but for most of the time, they'll be laughing at you. But, uh, <laughs> but even like bell bottoms, you didn't think they'd come back. Everybody threw their bell bottoms away, and bell bottoms are back in. And you know, I, I would think that even like a white shirt, you'd think that that's safe. But even white shirts, they change it just enough that the collar, you know, used to be bigger, now the collar's smaller, or it was a button down and now it's not button. You can't even, you, you, you just you have to buy new things every season. They give you the color that's in. Because for a while, like, I remember I started paying attention, like gray was in, gray was the color, and then it then went to pink, but they'd say pink is the new gray. And then now, uh, it, the orange I'm wearing because I'm told that orange is, is popular, citrus colors, and, and, uh, and pastels I noticed too. I was passing a window, and uh, it, I don't know where, on, on uh, Third Street or something, and there's like all pastel colors. And you know what else is in? Baskets and bunnies and chicks. <laughs> and, um, because it's Easter, but I got them anyway. I have, I got some. I want to make sure I'm in style. Um, but the only really safe color that never goes out is black. That's the safest thing. You've seen the bumper stickers, go with goth. And uh, you have to, um, <laughs> that's why those teenagers that, that have that goth look, you're, you're set, because that's not going to go out, unless, of course, you want a job or something like that, <laughs> or assimilate into society. And then, then it doesn't work for you. But, I've always hung on, to, I have one style. If you look back on any of my reruns, I'm wearing tennis shoes, I wear vests. I saw an old rerun of one of my uh, specials and I was wearing shoulder pads and I, and I had a, a mullet. And, uh, <laughs> and I thought, well, that is special. <laughs> that is. Hey, you know what's in and what's always in? Good music. Play me some, Tony.
she's singing about, that's not gonna relax anybody. <laughs> she went on a little Over long. and over again, <laughs> baby, take your time. You can... <laughs> 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 Dancing is always in, and I tell you, I've stuck with the same dance. I've said it before. Once you learn how to dance, that's the way you dance the rest of your life. So these poor kids that are spinning on their heads right now, <laughs> they're going to be at a wedding hearing some, like, Nelly song or something when they're 60 years old trying to spin on their heads, <laughs> breaking hips left and right. <laughs> <laughs> Tony is a really good dancer. Tony was, a da you, you don't see Tony dance enough. I tell you, we got to get you out from back there one day. One day, we'll, I'll be out there. Yeah, because, uh... Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, you're, now, you're, you're always, you're cooking for yourself now? Now I am cooking for myself, and I made a yummy dish this uh, weekend. What'd you, um, what'd actually, you make? Monday I made it, yesterday night. The, yesterday was Monday, that's right, Tony. Yep. All right. <laughs> There's... Well, he's not good with the days of the week, but no, he's, I'm not. you know. <laughs> I made some blackened uh, snapper. Blackened snapper. I've yes. made that accidentally. <laughs> I've blackened a few things in my life. That I don't know how you do it with tuna salad, but I'm not. <laughs> um, so blackened means spicy. Yes, I put um, a, a few kinds of peppers on it, cayenne pepper and black pepper, and I put it in the pan until it got browned really dark, uh -huh. boiled some potatoes, new potatoes, mashed them, and uh, got some string beans and garlic and sautéed them until they were brown, and voila. So well, we're, we're following along. We decided, since we realized that you're, you're cooking, we're going um, to share it with you. The recipe is on our website. And what's it called? The, the today's dish it's, is? It's the blackened red snapper. Black and red snapper. Black and red and snapper. And for, for Tony's recipe, you can go onto our website, and, uh, and then if you cook it, let us know if you enjoy it. Absolutely. You let us know. But I'm um, that... No guarantees. Huh? No guarantees. No guarantees. Well, also you have to like spicy things because I th I couldn't eat that. Yeah, that's true. You have. To, it's very spicy. Can anything be blackened without it being spicy? Never tried it, just to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. But I, I will try it. I'm serious. I have overcooked just about every single thing I've tried. Everything is blackened to me. <laughs> yeah, I don't mean to. Well, you know, well, well, I'll try and see if I can make something blackened without it being spicy. I'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, Sarah Michelle Geller is on the show. Uh, she, said, uh, uh, she was in Scooby-Doo, and they, and they decided, why not make Scooby-Doo 2? So they did. Uh, Scooby-Doo 2 at Monsters Unleashed, uh, and uh, so, and also on the show, oh, uh, Olivier Martinez is on the show. Now, you know him from Unfaithful, and now he's in a new movie with Angelina Jolie called Taking Lives, which is scary. And uh, uh, he, uh, also, Brad Paisley is on the show. <laughs> and, uh, hey, once again, we have a very, very special big finish. I, we have let people down. We realized, uh, thanks to Judy writing a letter, that we didn't have a big enough finish. Our show was fine up until the finish, and she was disappointed. Uh, so today, another big, big finish. So please, don't, don't give up now. Um, <laughs> stay tuned. Um, also, it's Cancer Awareness Month, and uh, everybody in the audience, we're giving out these pins to wear uh, so that you see uh, that uh, you can remind people that it's uh, Colon Cancer Awareness Month. And uh, Katie Couric has, has brought attention to this, obviously, this uh, subject. And uh, I, I, I'll tell you, it's something that we should all be aware of. I've had a colonoscopy. I'm not ashamed to say it. People are scared to death of them. You don't, you don't remember a thing. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's over with, and you find out, and early detection is the best way to... to it saves lives, and it's a, a, it's a very scary thing. So everybody should run out immediately after you watch the show <laughs> and uh, give yourself a colonoscopy. Um, <laughs> I mean, 
I hope. <laughs> I hope you do. Um, Hey, listen, uh, if, if you, it, when, when you come to the show, it's, it's, it's so much fun to be here. It's fun to watch it, I know that, but when you're here, it's a whole different experience, and there's music playing before the show starts, and uh, the, the audience just dances just because they want to. We don't force them to do anything here. They, they're <laughs> dancing under their own influence, and so uh, we, we like to roll tape sometimes, and some people don't know we're rolling tape. Um, <laughs> So uh, we want to show you, this was last week, I believe, we had a guy in the audience, uh, oh man, he was enjoying it. So let's take a look at the, the man with the, uh, here he goes. Now, his, he, he's, he likes to, kick. that's good to make sure that the, look how high his elbow, ev ev all right, she's enjoying it, she's checking him out right here. Watch, that, that elbow goes way up high, oh, oh, there she is. Look. That's the Jessica Lang look-alike. There he is right there. Um, look at her. She just pops up, and then she pops back down again. Oh, that's a little Groundhog Day dancing. Uh, that's how you do it in the club right there. There she is again. Let's shake your head around like crazy. Oh, they're kissing. Look at them. They're like kissing. Kiss again. Oh. Very amorous. They're having so much fun. All right. Now, also, then there's a, a, a woman that is dancing. She's enjoying herself, and uh, and then all of a sudden, Tony starts playing a different song. She's enjoying this song, and see if you can notice when when he puts on a new song, she doesn't like it nearly as much. Watch her just for a second. <laughs> She's enjoying this part. She likes it so far. She likes it. She likes. Oh. <laughs> with that at all. Uh, oh, man. It's, it's, and we had some good dancers here today also. Everybody's uh, really enjoying themselves. So, and you may see yourselves later. You don't know. <laughs> hey, don't go away. Sarah Michelle Geller will be here when we come back. We'll be right back.